But first, as I said, here we go again. The light's going out in Victoria. From midnight tonight right across the state, so not just Melbourne this time, stage four restrictions. Back to the five kilometre rule. Schools closed, all but essential businesses closed. Public gatherings banned. No visitors allowed in your home. Weddings off. Funerals down to just 10 attendees. It's the third hard lockdown for Melburnians, the second for regional Victoria. And with Chinese or Lunar New Year tonight and Valentine's Day on Sunday, an already battered hospitality industry is in chaos tonight with thousands of bookings now cancelled and millions of dollars of food to be thrown out. Spare a thought too for the florists. Hoping for a little bit of a lift out of Valentine's Day, considering much of last year they suffered huge losses with the shutdown of weddings and events. For them, today's news must have been gut-wrenching. Now, I can tell you tonight, the mood here in Melbourne is really flat. And if people aren't flat, they're angry. Of course, Daniel Andrews is nothing if not consistent. Today, the Victorian Premier admitted nothing. No apologies for failures in his hotel quarantine system yet again. No apologies for the nebulizer that is suspected to have kicked off this latest crisis. Indeed, when questioned about it today, he attacked the media. A mistake has been made inside hotel quarantine with letting this nebulizer through. Well, again, um, we'd all rather not be here, but I don't, have a, I don't have the power to change what has occurred. But if you're really inviting me to have a crack at a bloke who is on a machine to breathe at the moment in an ICU. I'm just not doing that. You're not allowed to have them. You shouldn't be using them. There's an interview where people are, that's clearly communicated. It's happened. Uh, I think your criticism is misplaced uh, and I don't accept the contention that you've put to me. Of course it's infectious, but surely we're here as well because there's been mistakes made in the, in the way the hotel quarantine program's been run. No, I don't accept that at all. I think I've answered your question and I don't... I don't I don't think Victorians need to be informed um, via questioning about how, how contagious this is. Time and time again in his press conference today, Andrews blamed the UK virus for Victoria's latest lockdown rather than any failures in his quarantine system. Yet we know that under the government's own procedures, a nebulizer should have been picked up and removed from a guest's room, but it wasn't. And they now say it's at the heart of this breakdown. If that isn't a system that's failed the people of this state, I don't know what is. And take a look at this. A Victorian anaesthetist has tweeted, and I'll quote her, let me frame this for the journos non-medical people out there. For about nine months, she says, March onwards last year, we were not permitted to use nebulizers, nebulizers outside of negative pressure rooms in the hospital. This is a rookie error. It's worth noting nebulizers, as well as other vaporising devices, are also banned in general hotel quarantine, according to Victorian health authorities. And the Victorian AMA president has described those nebulizer machines as COVID spreaders. So how on earth, in this rolled gold fabulous system of Daniel Andrews, did this happen? We also know that, unlike in New South Wales, lockdown is Victoria's first response to any cluster because it just can't trust and has no faith in its contact tracing capability. So for all the spin about his system being the best in the country and that all other states are out there copying Victoria, plainly, it's BS. I mean, Daniel Andrews is shameless. Here he was earlier this week before reality bit him on the backside today. We're not going to the anywhere near the capacity that New South Wales has or other states have, and I don't make any apology for that. We uh, will have less capacity because we have a different model and, I believe, higher standards. Uh, there's not 3,500 private security working in our system. Do I need to go any further than that? Now, this is not about boasting, so this is just a fact. If it was anything other uh, than a good system, then I doubt very much that other First Ministers across the country would have agreed to copy it. You know what? Victorians are sick of you, Premier. We're sick of your spin. We're sick of your lies. We're sick of you never admitting blame, of never taking responsibility. It's always someone else's fault, isn't it? Never you, never your Ministers. 
How many of your officials and ministers, if asked about today's lockdown, will say in what, three months' time, if and when this gets away from us and we end up with a third wave, more deaths and more lockdowns, how many will say like they did before, I don't know, I can't remember? What do you say tonight, Premier, to the businesses who will lose out with this lockdown? $91 million in lost sales over the next five days for an already battered hospitality sector, including one of the busiest weekends in Melbourne, Chinese New Year and Valentine's Day combined, as I said. And that's, of course, without including the $27 million plus in wasted produce that will have to be thrown out. How is it that Gladys Berejiklian's quarantine system can take 3,000 people each, every week, many from the UK, carrying this same virulent virus, you say, that's hitting Victoria like no other state? How can she do it and somehow she can cope? But you can't. Quite plainly, the difference has to be a hotel quarantine system fit for purpose in New South Wales and a contact tracing system that works. What was the whole point of the millions spent on the coat inquiry if Victorians are failed here yet again? Today, the Premier foreshadowed a possible end to Victoria's hotel quarantine system. And he may close it down, he says, and only allow Victorians home on compassionate grounds. Well, I'll have more to say about the future of hotel quarantine quite soon. We didn't need to bring in all the tennis players and their entourages either out of uh, places like the Europe, places like the UK, where this strain has been running rampant. But the captain's call from the Premier made it so. And if hotel quarantine is closed down in Victoria, if the Victorians among the 40,000-plus Australians overseas then can't get home, well, that's a huge admission of failure and proof that the lessons of last year just have not been learnt. So where to from here? Well, it's hard for anyone to predict. Hard for me, and I've worked on the inside of government because this is a government in Victoria that specialises in spin and displays almost chronic incompetency. All I can say is that I have no faith that this will be five days and the end of the lockdown. Even tonight, I'm aware of rumours that it'll run out to the 22nd of February that the five days start is not to scare the horses. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. But like you, I've seen this movie before and I don't like how it ends.